Hi there YouTube, welcome to uh, Italian Bolt Action Army update number two. This is coming a lot quicker than I thought it was. I was uh, as I said in my last video, I predicted that my next video would be in about a couple of weeks. And it's a lot shorter than that. It's uh, literally less than a week. Um, and hopefully by the time... Uh, I actually get this video up um, it should be around about the middle of the week um, I've now completed my uh, Burgers Lieri uh, box set from Warlord uh, and it actually came with 20, 20 miniatures and not 20, uh, 26 or 24 like I was saying um, but it's a great box set it comes with everything that you need um, it comes with the command section here, a medium machine gun team, a light mortar team, and a 12-man infantry team with two light machine guns. So uh, quite a bit of bang for your buck. Like I said, it costs about £26-ish. It's not, not too bad value. Uh, so let's uh, get started. Um, like I said before, this is the, uh, the command unit that comes with it. Um, we'll have a look at the officer first. Uh, here we go. Um, as you can see, I've, I've given, uh, um, particularly in this unit, and I might carry it across into my others, um, this, I've decided to give all the sort of officer figures, uh, um, and including like NCOs as well, um, like sun hats as opposed to helmets to sort of distinguish them from the infantry. Uh, this is obviously an officer. And you can see that... Um, he has got the black cockerel feathers, um, denoting him as Burgess Larry, which of course the Burgess Larry were um, at the Italian uh, elite infantry, elite light infantry, and um, they did a lot of their fighting in the desert. And as we can see by this example, uh, we have a an officer and a first lieutenant in a very uh, nicely tailored Sahariana jacket and the thing about uh, the Italian uh, uh, desert gear um, specifically the uniforms were that they came in many many shades of uh, um, from light to dark and uh, this particular officer I've given him a slightly darker um, uniform jacket uh, as opposed to a lot of his troops um, to sort of denote that this was uh, privately tailored. And you can kind of, I've given him his rank, uh, his rank tabs that you can see on his uh, shoulders there. And I've also given him uh, a rank tab on his arm. Um, although, in reality, um, specifically during the, the, uh, the, 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 sort of the desert operations, most uh, Italian officers decided to keep their, uh, sh their ranks on their shoulders, on their shoulder tabs rather than wearing them on their arms but as this is well action and I like giving my troops ranks I've uh, put one on his uh, sleeve as well you can see he's got the uh, the 100% uh, fully issued desert kit uh, for this particular guy so he's got his khaki putties and the cork brown style uh, sort of leather belt he's got a pair of sun goggles on his uh, Sun hat there, and he's got the Burgess Lieri uh, cap badge and his uh, lapel badges as well, which is like a red, um, a red rectangle or triangle with a little white star. So that is the officer. You can see he's got that sort of a that really cool desert flock uh, on his base again. Put some sort of vegetation down. Let's see, officer, he came out really well. And his rank in Italian is. Let's have a look. Uh, it's Premio Teniente. I think I pronounced that right. So there he is. So next up, uh, one of his uh, assistants. So as you can see, I've given this guy a uh, sun ha sun cap as well, or a sun hat. He's uh, armed the standard Carcano rifle, and 
this guy has got quite a big nose actually. I've given this guy, well you can't really see it, but he's got the rank of... Uh, let's have a look, I believe it's a sergeant of some kind. Uh, yes, Mars. Oh, this guy's Marcello. Yeah, Marcello Ordinario, which is uh, basically just a straight up sergeant. Um, and uh, his rank would be on his shoulder tabs. Um, they don't actually. Uh, they don't have the, the, the sergeant or above doesn't doesn't wear uh, uh, any kind of uh, markings other than the shoulder tabs. So that's one of them. And the second one, again with the sun hat. And this guy's actually carrying a a clip for his Carcano rifle. And this guy again, I believe, is. I always give my guys uh, ranks and names. And you can see that he is also a Moss Yellow Ordinario, so another sergeant. So that's him, so that's the command section. Next up, we have the Brixia light mortar team. Uh, this is actually the first uh, light mortar I've done in bolt action, apart from perhaps the, uh, I suppose the Japanese knee mortars kind of count. Um, I decided to put the mortar guy on a cavalry style base, a twenty, I think it's twenty-five by fifty. Um, and for the loader, uh, I decided to sort of kind of save space and, and put him on a normal round base. Um, because uh, when I sort of um, was testing out basing, um, putting him on a cavalry base kind of made him um, either point in totally the wrong direction or um, be too far away and in the wrong direction so it didn't really work where with this sort of smaller base you've got a little bit more flexibility and you can sort of position him correctly. Um, we'll look at the loader first. So as you can see he's got his box of rounds. Uh, this guy's actually wearing um, the European um, grey green um, webbing. Um, the Burgess Leary were Obviously, the, the best equipped uh, unit in the Italian army, um, but the use of this uh, sort of a European style webbing was actually quite commonplace. Um, so, I did actually put a few guys in, in this entire unit um, box set uh, in European uh, webbing. Um, so, this guy's just basically a private. Which I believe is a soldato, yeah. And the actual mortar operator, who is actually a senior private, which is um, soldato Celto. That's quite a nice miniature, one piece. And again, the desert base looking particularly cool. So that is the light mortar. And next up, we have the medium machine gun team. Yeah. And these guys came out kind of cool. Uh, I did another sort of uh, custom custom base for them. Um, in my last update you saw the first machine gun tip medium machine gun team that I did and they were kind of in a sort of desert sand berm. Um and these guys are actually built a sort of uh, a slate rock wall out of sort of like slate rocks and it came out really well. It looks all sort of uh looks like it's been hit by a sandstorm. 
or several sandstorms it's all eroded and and uh, covered in sand I'm going to use some weathering powder on the top there to look like it's been like really sort of worn down by the sort of the, the high desert winds and uh, got some sort of desert vegetation in there and you can see the uh, the machine gun has got a moustached head which, which kind of suits him and the loader there and the, um, the spotter uh, who's got the rank of uh, sergente which is corporal denoted by the um, the V with the slightly thicker V with the white the white stripe towards the bottom and I've given him a sun hat to sort of distinguish him again as a sort of junior NCO you can see that this uh, the, the base turned out really well and uh, I'm really happy with how this uh, particular team turned out the, uh, I think I think it's the Breeder 37 as uh, the machine gun, the light like, machine gun, fed with these 20 round strips. So, yeah, really, uh, really pleased with how that came out. That is the Burgess Theory medium machine gun team. And now finally, we've got the 12 man infantry squad. So we'll try and get into shot. Okay, let's just zoom out a little bit. There we go. So this is the, like I said, the twelve-man squad came with, came with this box set, and uh, for all intents and purposes, they're basically exactly the same as a normal Italian art infantry section box set, apart from the heads. Uh, so let's get started with the NCO and. This particular box, I was pleased to actually have an NCO with a uh, with a submachine gun, and this is a really cool figure. Um, I, I would really would have liked to have, have had another one of these guys um, in my box set, so unfortunately I haven't. Um, I've given him a really cool head with sort of the his sun goggles down, which looks so cool. Again, he's got this sort of the uh, denoted officer's hat, and uh, like I said. Uh, that I, that I want to do with all my uh, um, officers and NCOs. You can see he's got his uh, Beretta submachine gun and he's got his pistol and he's got his uh, magazine pouch there. Really, really cool figure, this guy. You can see his. There's Burgess Leary badge there, and there's Burgess Leary uh, lapel badges. That's the NCO. Uh, next up, we'll do the Corporal, the Sargente. Um, I chose this figure to be him because he looks kind of quite dignified. Um, again, this guy seems to have ended up with the, uh, the big nose head. <laughs> Which I didn't even notice until now. Uh, this looks like my cat wants to uh, to go out. Going out on the the Kakana rifle. Bobo, stop doing that, girl. Yeah, he came out really cool. 
So that's the Corporal or the Sergeant. Uh, next up we have a Senior Private. And again, this is the guy uh, holding the Carcano uh, clip. Um, Carcano rifle uh, took a six round clip that actually, uh, um, actually pushed inside the actual rifle itself. Um, and when it fired its last round, the sort of empty case would drop out the bottom. And like I said, he's this guy's a senior private, so it's a Soldato Salto. And next up, we have another Soldato Salto. It's going in more of a sort of standard pose. I haven't found out what that pouch is yet. I think it could be a gas mask pouch. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that's him. Uh, next up we have a, um, one of the LMG teams. So we have this guy. Um, I think the Itali out of all the Italian troops there's only two poses for the, uh, for the light machine guns. Um, so luckily I managed to have one of each in this particular box set. Um, this is probably my favourite pose. Yeah, again I've made him a senior senior private. And you can see just underneath there the, um, the rectangular pouch which would normally hold um, this um, magazine for the uh, for the rifle. And it was quite strange in the fact that, um, unlike other machine guns that were belt fed or magazine fed, this uh, particular uh, machine gun was actually this whole section here would would uh, unclip and fold forward. And you'd actually put like a, you'd actually feed a twenty round stripper clip into that uh, and then pull it out. Giving you 20 rounds. So that's the one of the light machine guns. And here is one of the loaders. So again, these guys are. Uh, up on their supplies and I've actually got a desert coloured box instead of a sort of a grey green. You can see it's a little bit sort of chipped and damaged. And he's got the sort of the pullover rather than a shirt on underneath. His Sahari and a jacket. I tried to make uh, most of my Burgess Leary all have the same sort of colour of of uniform, they've got slightly different coloured trousers to their tops, but they're they're basically all matching to show that they're uh, they're well supplied. Where with my sort of regular units, some um, I kind of mix it up a little bit and give them some you know a mixture of different colours um, within their uh, within the units. Um, even though I've only actually done one one infantry section so far, but that's the plan for the rest of them. And there's two more to go. So again, we have normal, normal, another normal soldato. So and this guy about to operate the bolt of his rifle, perhaps. Standing shooting. This guy's got the entrenching tool. And we have the 
grenade throwing type guy here with the uh, the famous red painted Italian hand grenades and again he's got his uh, standard Kokano and this guy does actually have a uh, European uh, style webbing and two more to go, that's basically the last uh, LMG team so we have this uh, alternate positioned LMG guy um, sort of walking with a with his uh, breeder 30 on his shoulder and this guy um, he has actually got the cork, he's got a slightly darker brown uh, cork uh, webbing on so perhaps it's a little bit more worn And finally the loader. Again with the uh give that a little hair there. Crackly painted uh camouf sand camouflage box of ammo. Um this guy again has got this sort of cork brown webbing. And that concludes um, the second update to my Italian army. So let's just pan the camera up a little bit. Um, see if we can get most of them into shot. There we go, that's most of them there. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I haven't totally decided what I'm going to do next, but I might do uh, perhaps one of my vehicles just to sort of change it up a bit because I've done quite a bit of infantry so far. Um, Again, not 100% sure when my video is going to be, but it could well be a lot earlier than than my um, than you think. Um, possibly next week, um, or possibly even late later this week. Um, so, uh, like if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you wish to be kept up on uh, new updates as they come out. And until next time, catch you later.